And the Frogman and of course the Lake Erie Monster, they're all around us in folklore, of course. And now you can see the creatures which frightened Northern Ohioans for decades. Christina Smith is here from the Hayes Presidential Center to explain. Uh, so you guys got all these creepy crawly guys in a new exhibit coming up on Friday. Yeah, so <laughs> our new exhibit is called Ohio, an Unnatural History, mm -hmm. and we are featuring all these legends and folklore from Ohio. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're really excited <laughs> about it, and hopefully there'll be some new legends maybe that not everybody's uh, heard of. Yeah, so. well, name a couple of them for me because I'm not even sure. <laughs> well, one of the most famous ones is the Dogman um, from Defiance, Ohio. Mm -hmm. He uh, terrorized the town in the <laughs> summer of 1972 and then kind of disappeared. Um, to the best of my knowledge, he hasn't made a reappearance in the town, but that's one of the best known ones. Okay. Uh, of course, Bigfoot. Of mm -hmm. course, in Ohio, though, we call him Grassman. So our version. Our version of Bigfoot. Grassman. Okay, so we have one of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, he's mostly in southern Ohio, kind okay. of around South, Salt Fork State Park. Mm -hmm. So all of these mystical creatures are, someone's drawn them, is that correct? Yeah, so as you can imagine, putting on an exhibit um, about these creatures is a little bit difficult because we don't <laughs> we haven't have... haven't really seen them, right? <laughs> right. We don't have pictures. We don't have artifacts. So mm -hmm. what we did was we partnered with Dan Chudinski, mm -hmm. and he is a wonderful artist. He's the curator at the Mazda Museum in Finley. Mm -hmm. And so he pictured these creatures and kind of brought them to life through his <laughs> artwork. So that's kind of the centerpiece yeah. of the exhibit, and it's it's amazing. Yeah, the artwork, as we're looking at some, at some photos, it's really incredible what your creativity, your imagination, this artist, what he's been able to cook up for us. <laughs> he does a lot of work with um, movie sets and things like oh, that. Wow. And we also in the exhibit are going to have some of his sculptures um, of cryptids he's kind of come up in, with in his mind, cryptids being mythical creatures. Mm -hmm. Cryptids, I like it. Mm -hmm. Really cool. So uh, this could be a fun one for the kids too because they like all these kind of crazy animals, yeah. right? <laughs> and we're going to have something fun for kids too. I mean, anybody can do it, but sure. it's specifically geared toward kids where they can actually come in and draw their own, um, we call them cryptid creatures mm -hmm. or, or their own legend or monster. Mm -hmm. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Think about so. it, kids. You know, you probably doodled one um, at home in your binders and parents, like you said too, could be yeah. for the adults yeah, as well. It's open to anybody. So. so this exhibit opens up on Friday, but if you're a member, you kind of get a little preview, right? Yeah. So one of the perks of being a Hayes presidential member Mm -hmm. is you get to come to um, these members only exhibit openings. So they actually get the first look at the exhibit and that will be tomorrow night. And We have refreshments and things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it opens to the public on Friday. So that's a bonus of being, mm -hmm. uh, one of the many bonuses of being, being a, member. a member. How long does the exhibit run? Um, it's gonna be open through Halloween. Oh, okay, well, that's kind of perfect timing, yeah, right? Yeah, very appropriate. So right? some things, parents, you jot those ideas down. Grandparents jot those I the idea down when you're looking for something to do with the kids, maybe even over the summer or over spring break. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities coming coming up, and if you want to get there now, of course, you can go this weekend, yeah. too, right? <laughs> what are your hours? Um, so we're open um, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5, Sunday, noon to 5, and then in April, we reopen Monday through Friday. So basically, we're just closed on Mondays in February and March right now. I mean... It's, it's February and March, right? Yeah. <laughs> we understand that. So you can come and maybe see for yourself in person, in real life, uh, some of these uh, creatures that you know, your grandparents may have told you about or you may have heard stories about as a kid. Uh, you can come and see how they've been depicted in some really talented pieces of art. Yeah. Very, very good. All right, thanks for coming today, Christina. Thank you for mm -hmm. having me.